Okay, so in this episode, we got up bright and early because this is an exciting day's final assembly. We threw the cab back on again, which seems like a big deal. It really isn't. You just plunk it down and whatever. But now it's time to start running and tying everything down. Wiring harnesses, brake lines, uh, put the seats in, steering, bolt everything down for the last time. And hopefully in this episode, we can drive it if all goes well. And if it doesn't, we're in trouble because we only have a couple days left. Here we go. We got a stroker kit from SCAT and AFR heads shipped to Canada where we will send them to Northtown to get assembled on our 6.2, ship the engine back to California, put it in our project vehicle, then drive it back home again. Nice. Okay. Customizing the custom. Okay. Ooh, we're getting down there. Install box slash bed. Yeah, Mar this bolt is just on. Put down just a little bit, Rich. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah, I'm lining up. Sit down. Very close to it. And then it's got this other front guy in. Go ahead. Yeah. There she is. There she is. All right. So you know. Oh, man. That's beautiful. I think this fuel fitting here. You got lots of room on the back. You may want to. Uh, it does. Yeah, they do. Spin. I just wanted to make sure we could have enough here. Yeah. All right. Then. All right. Thank you. Yeah. So we'll do everything that needs to be done before the fenders go on. Yeah. And tuck that wiring harness inside. I think we'll work on. Terminator going to go box. Yeah. The steering wheel. Yeah. Uh, no, there's still more there. Connector coming up. Okay. Hold on. Sorry. Okay, so we're a little bit tight on room. Well, this is basically where the brake pedal ends up, but I don't have enough room for my throttle pedal, and I can't. Our bell housing's right here, and even though it's a low-pro bell, bell housing, I can't make this much smaller. What I'm going to do is uh, just cut this off and flip it over and weld it back on again, so it's more to the left and then we can figure out exactly where our clutch pedal is going to go but basically the same shape so manuel's back he's going to plasma cut that and then um, we'll secure the steering for the last time so this pedal needs to come right about here and then so copy that copy that but it's got to go over a bit and then come yeah. right could i make it and then we bend it yeah yeah and then and then we can just drill the tab or put the tab wherever all right let's try that, that's really hot sorry. wow that sorry, was hot sorry, sorry I, you didn't touch it yet but that's <laughs> I really, did touch really it. hot you didn't touch it you're fine i did i watched you you didn't touch it the paint's sticky the powder was sticky. wet it was on this side i had to put it on that you see side those welds them good welds they're good welds yeah those that's an important weld that breaks off and we got no brake pedal and you got a little bit of a brake pedal, string. but this is how the pedal came, but it came on the other side. So here, I'll show you for a sec. Let me pop it in. Right, and then this goes in here. So what I'm thinking is the pedal needs to come down. Oh, it's hot! 
see this is where my master is yeah so on the i was thinking of taking some of that c channel and coming down like this <laughs> and uh then we can push them got it i don't think it's going to cut very good because oh because it's got to go so slow the air compressor is going to barely keep up but we'll see what happens they'll crank that sucker up and can't keep up with the material, the plasma cutter can. Did you see it can't cut through it all. My air compressor is like way too small. I need like 150 PSI or like 90 PSI. Harper Freight, step your game up. Or I need to set my game up. One of the, one of the other. I was trying to cut was way too thick. I couldn't cut it with the air compressor I have. Uh, so I have some thicker material, but I just have square tubing. So I cut out two pieces. We're just gonna double it up. So that should be about a half inch or so. So it should be just as strong. So we're gonna clean these up and then just weld them together. And then we have our thick plate. And Rich will never know. He'll, I'll just say it's the same plate. Just paint it? Just paint it. I'll clamp these together and weld them, and then drill that out, make sure it's perfect for the three-quarter tube. Mm -hmm. I've got yourself a clutch pedal. Is <laughs> the two? <laughs> yeah, that stuff was so, like, what'd you buy? <laughs> I don't know, it just like, <laughs> seems like it's hardened steel, like it would not pierce through. Really, eh? Yeah. We'll weld that together, or I'll make it flat, I promise. Okay. All right. I promise. <laughs> Oh, perfect width, huh? So this started out as a fence post today, now it will be a clutch pedal lever thing. It slides on right here. Yeah, you don't need all the prettiest metal. You just gotta just use a little bit of hard work and sweat. Right, Rich? Right. Yeah, I don't think you even heard what I said, Let's but you just, just- Yeah, I don't need pretty metal. You just need, you, got, you just need some time and determination. And we found the key. No. Just shove a screwdriver in. Hot wire. Oh! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> we'll just find a nice old screwdriver and just hammer it in there. <laughs> Did they even have locks back then? No, there's no lock on the door either. <laughs> there was a better time back then. Did you used to drive one of these to school like brand new? With the lock? <laughs> no? Yeah, I'm 10 years older than you are. Are you really? Yeah. How old do you think I am? I don't know, you've worked really hard. <laughs> it's the beard, I'm, I'm only 20. <laughs> you know, California's just aged so much slower. gonna go there. Manuel's cutting me out some circles so I can plug those holes. The more holes that we plug, the better it'll be, the more comfortable we'll be driving. So, so far, so good. So 
I just mopped it up. So a plasma table, you could put anything, basically any metal pieces on your table that has some sort of girth to it, but you make it work. So I kind of leveled this out. The plasma table has torch light control, so there's a slight hump in this and it'll go up, but I have it pretty flat because I just added some spacers right here. This is the train shifter we go through this. And so that's my start and stop. And I just mark that. And then I drew about two and a half inch circle. Um, supposed to be two and three quarter, which I think will be fine. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and make that work. And then if not, then I'll just take a grinder and make a little bigger, but I don't, want, I don't have a hole saw. So this is a pretty expensive hole saw. Let's see if we'll cut it out. So now we're gonna go test that out, see if, that, if I actually mark that correctly. If not, I'm gonna have to pass some holes. No, nice. but. <laughs> That's awesome. I was like, it's done with it. Well, it's kind of, it works, so. Yeah. Factory. <laughs> yeah, the holes line up. <laughs> so nice. I think there's a little bit of rubber in there, but we're gonna just screw that on and I think it'll flex enough, but we'll patch that up. I think we need to patch these corners too. Yeah, yeah. And then so, and then just like bolt them down. You can actually some self tampers in that. Yeah, and you can actually because it's like this, whatever's finished, you can actually it's a pretty tight tolerance between my like, wheelbarrow and the transmission, so you can trim that ahead. Maybe just throw something over top of this. I'm really excited about that. It's, I was, yeah. I'm it's pretty like, excited well, about that. Well, actually, it's kind of like it. Yeah. Okay, so these are the mounting brackets for the seat. Last time we were here, we put the seats in and realized what we needed. So in the meantime, we've ordered some four inch seat channel. We're just gonna bolt this down to the floor and then bolt the seats down to this because we need to lift them up about that four inches. So I just have to notch them around a couple uh, moldings in the floor and it uh, should be good and sturdy. And it leaves room for a uh, center console or something underneath and some storage underneath the seats too. So maybe we'll put the, the Terminator underneath the seats or something. I'm, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Here we go. This is what we ended up with the clutch pedal. It's a nice little kink in it. We got the pad on there. We'll have to modify it a little bit just to put a rubber around wow. it. But this tube will fit inside the other tube and then a bolt goes right through, holds everything together, and then the master pivots right on here. So I'm gonna throw some grease on it. Because hopefully we never have to take it back out again and it won't squeak. Now, somebody did say every time you step on it, the brake lights are gonna come on. And there's a good chance of that, but that's a future rich problem. Man, that clutch lever sure came out nice. It did. The shifter. The housing turned out really nice. You just fence post right there, brother. Mounted to the inner fender, a couple screws holding it in place, nice and rock solid. Just uh, making up a template for a splash shield for it. So we got this all done. We'll throw it on some uh, sheet metal and bend it up. So I went and mount the tab, mount the tab, and as soon as she goes. No promises. So that's pretty much her. Yeah, just drill it and bolt it. And... Quick shout out to Mike at Stance Works. This is my inspiration for working hard today because I'm going to come and see Chloe. I can't wait to see your dog. Yeah, so this is the amount of rust on a 
68 year old pickup truck it's the same as a six seven eight year old pickup truck in ontario so unbelievable the rust ratio is very high so all we're gonna do is clean up these side rails it's, it's actually still solid but we're gonna be driving down the road and this these side rails provide a lot of the support for the fenders and for the bed and for these side rails here so we're just gonna take that out clean up these uh, dilapidated ones that aren't really doing much anymore keep three or four of them in there just to keep the uh, alignment because that's going to be our alignment for our frame so we got to keep that in place and then we'll just replace them one by one as we go once things are kind of sturdied up uh, over on the outside there we're just going to clean up the edges hit it with the flapper disc probably hit it with a little bit of black paint throw some wood in it and on the road so see you soon mike we're down to one grinder. I'm going dull Sawzall blade on this one. I'm getting back to my auto wrecker roots. He said two. He said two hundred. Who said two hundred? The guy who gave you that? Rich. Okay. I trust Rich. It's his truck. Two hundred foot pounds. Can you throw two hundred foot pounds? No. All right. Let's we'll see what you got. Is that it? I think that's more than 200. Oh, we should have plenty of fans on the way home, right? <laughs> hey, where, where? Should you guys open yeah. Yeah. I'm strong, Mom! <laughs> that should roll nicely. Nice. Okay. There's a key? There's a key in the yoke. What? No. Just know we got lucky sliding in and I just got it in. The first time? The first <laughs> time. Like, without even looking at it. But I was having a good day that day. Right, we'll you know, this. every day is a good day when you're in America. <laughs> right, brothers? <laughs> Man, no. I wonder if we dropped the exhaust in it. 100%. Almost throughout. From what? Just from leaning over. Oh, the oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't just from looking at me. Oh. <laughs> if we drop it and get it in, do you think it's going to rub when it's up? Get it off. <clears throat> get it out of there. Da, da, da. Oh, da, da. Nice. Good celebration part coming up. So be ready for it. Oh. Trouble law. That's fabulous. I believe she's going to be a half inch. We'll see how close this is. We may have to drop the exhaust a little bit. Yeah, let's put it in neutral. I saw a, a trick somewhere that if you just grab it and slam it on the table, it spreads it. Have you seen that? No. Yeah. Man, that sure is cool that that draft shaft works. <laughs> I'm on out of here. <laughs> here we go. Back up. Yeah. Drop that down like a fucking half an inch. So clearances were tight on the drive shaft already. The exhaust is underneath and the hangers are on top. Or it's like cross members. So um, we did it with three inch pipe. And then he called up and says, I don't have any three inch drive shaft material. I only have three and a half. I'm like, well, it's only quarter inch, but tolerances are tight. Hopefully we don't have any clearance issues because right now the weights are hitting the exhaust, but the axle's down. So. Spin that again. Yeah, so you just hit there. Oh, just barely. No, so, but you got to remember too, like right now all the weights on the rear diff, you go over a bump, you know, the frame goes up, the suspension goes down. Right. See so if we can drop the exhaust down in here or we lower the suspension in the back. The draft shaft spins at full drew. Should we try bumping it out too or lifting it? Oh, that'd be fine. That's, that's, yeah, that's full drop right there. Cool. Good job, guys. Great job. Teamwork.
So these are nut certs. I don't know what they call in Canada, but here we call it nut certs. And so you make it so you don't have to get behind there and put a nut behind this so this just crushes in with this tool right here. So you throw that on there, put it in there, it goes like That'll be bolted on. I'm gonna add another one down here, right there, and then this should be all wrapped up and the floor should be sealed-ish. So your feet are gonna get wet when it rains, but <laughs> it'll be all right. Sorry about the trans. Rib nut is what Canadians call it, I guess. I call it nut cert, but it's some sort of nut, blind nut, nut cert. Hopefully I don't crush that too. See, it's made that noise. Nice. So you put that right there. And you're one step closer to driving your truck. How do you like that? This thing is ridiculously sharp. So be careful, make sure you wear your gloves and wear your eye protection and your ear protection. My hands ain't working. Some people say I wear these to keep the my ear safe from the noise, but I just sort of don't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> so I did that. We just gotta buzz her on. And there's a little bit of gap there, but uh, ain't mine. This one seems like it's okay. I'm not gonna bolt it down because it's on a roundy thing. Um, but throw some seam sealer and some tape, and you're good to go. You guys won't hit any rain on the way home, right? No rain. No rain. We'll just put a piece of tape on that so when we get the welder back out over here, we'll get that done. 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 Is it um, spelled right here, proper? Yeah. It's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I fixed it. <laughs> There's a oh, hole. see, that's what they did. Did they cover up the vent hole with the sticker? They did. Really? They did. Oh no, there's a there's a gap. Oh okay. But it was definitely mm -hmm. plugged up. So I just, I just saved the build right here. <laughs> so so, uh, if you peel it off again, it's gonna flop off in the wind. And we're doing it. Well, hopefully it doesn't because it's under a hood. Nice. That's on there. Good. It's definitely in the fall off. No, it's not. Canada. Or in the Vegas heat this summer. <laughs> oh, we can transfer it now. Sixty-nine and a half. Nice. Oh, you yeah. know what I'm talking about. <laughs> The half part, not so much. We have a closer. G channel. Closer. We're talking about, it's almost there. <laughs> nice. Is it the front side or the back side that we need to make sure it's not like too much caster camber? Which one is it? So you said it's 70 and the yeah, 60. Yeah, caster camber, toe wind toe wind. Oh, Okay, so the toe is 70 and then it's 69. So is it like, which way is that? Like, so you'd have to toe in or toe out? Who you want to toe out? No, you want so, to toe in. You want to toe in like an eighth of an inch. Yeah, right. Like so you want to this to be an eight, like the same distance from out from the tire would be an eighth of an inch more than here, which would be the same as an eighth of an inch. Ah. Right? <laughs> I never looked at it that way. <laughs> that makes sense though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Does it look better? The him? Oh, we went to SEMA, they yeah. have, they're giving away hats. Yeah. There you go, there you go, there you go. It's wrong. It, it's, it, I just see it moving a ton. 71. 71 and 3 eighths. Hey -o. Good. Hey -o. Good enough. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Good, yeah. good enough for the drive. Only for 2,500 <laughs> miles or 3,000 miles or some obnoxious <laughs> like, My distance. tires wear funny, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> I'm not responsible for camber. It catches. Are you going a little bit? Yeah. But we could probably die grind it. I think so. Right. Drill, drill plug it. well here, plug well there, and yeah, we're just gonna have there. like burn marks through. No, 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 yeah, but we can go down to this guy, right? Down oh, yeah, this, yeah, down yeah, to yeah, that one. Yeah, that's right. And then, yeah, you can throw in a couple. I don't just weld it there, yeah. Just a few in the middle. If you want, I can weld it. It's got to be, yeah, uh, yeah, okay. It's finished mounting. Okay, don't the, uh, the cap. I'll drill it after it's welded. This is looking really good. Probably the best. And I've seen some really good beds before. It's not a bed, it's a box! <laughs>
Oh, weld angle in bed. Drive shaft needs to come off. Uh, steering column secure. It's just two bolts. Yep. Is the clutch bleeding bleeding yet, or? So I think I got air, and I just need I, I need the air. I can't get out that stupid. So, okay, that last bleeder. We get it with an open end wrench. No. Can we get it from the transmission tunnel? Maybe. With it with an that I think I think I can get on yeah. with a with an open end. Okay. I'm not positive. But. Okay. Yeah. Quite a bit of it took quite a bit of fluid. Yeah, top it right up. You want to pump the pedal, the the pump pedal. It's not gurgling like it was, and I got really good vacuum now. Look at that, that firewall to the side. Does it feel good? Look at. I think that's it. It's much better than it was. There we go. Yeah, I think that feels much better. Alright. Yeah. Try just, uh, put it in gear, see if it'll roll with the clutch in. Yeah. Just put it in gear. We'll probably go in gear. Bounce around for a little bit and we'll get rid of the air. Nice. <laughs> I'm ready for bleed brakes. Okay, well, no. So that's not bad. I added on there, but I gotta jack it up. Yeah. You got cab mounts? I thought I wrote that. Oh, yeah, yeah cab yeah, mounts. Yeah. Right. yeah. All right. We're getting there. Okay, brakes. I got excited. I spilled a lot in a short amount of time. Why am I worried about this thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need to bleed the master. I didn't bench bleed it. Let's just put a vacuum on it. Yeah, hold it, hold the pressure. What's a clicking? <laughs> Don't do that, it's splashing. Nah, right, that's fine. Yeah, we got her. Just leave one hose in, we'll do one at a time. Oh, Try to do it quick. Is this... Ooh. Look at you. I have a... This, I mean, that's like nice. Cool. Those look, that looks... This looks real nice. It looks too nice. I'm gonna spray paint it all. Yeah. All right. Okay. I got brake fluid on me. Old pinky... habits never die. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's from tea time. Let's check it out. <laughs> tea time or... You can pump, and then we'll hold it at the back. So you guys want to make sure that that stays full. Pop it up. Did you get you? No, I almost was like that. Uh -huh. mm, little one here, too. Yeah. I need a better 10 mil. You find out and you do that. Technotronic. Uh, can you pump again? And excuse me, how do you say it? Can you please bump again? Pump. Pump it up. Jam. Pump it up. Slow your roll there, guys. Hold it. I got a leak. Holding. Okay. I'll hold it. Holding. Where's the leak? Up here. That is pretty. I've never seen brakes do that without any. Or with a ton of air like that. Still like grabbing and you just hold it. Hold it. Wow, these bear brakes. Hold it. I don't like that. Bump it. Is it the black eyed peas 
Hold it. Holding. Pump it. I said pump it. <laughs> Hold it. Holding. Pump it up. We're a different song. Does it feel like there's some on the pedal? It feels pretty good. Oh yeah. I was not mm. expecting it to go this well. Pump it. I'm okay with that. Nice. You feel firm? Yeah, really firm. I'm happy with that. And for you guys, any of you guys who think that we're all drunk, we're not. We're having a good time. We're, I drink milk. He's a Diet Coke guy. And <laughs> half the other guys don't drink a drop either. <laughs> Capri Sun's water and not even dark soda anymore. Just no way. Hey. Horitos. It's a Mexican soda. Look it up. It's real good. It has a little, like, I had a little too much sugar today. Just chill out, guys. <laughs> what a good day. You got a lot done. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have to go and grab parts. It's, uh, we've probably done at least three or four parts runs a day. But man, it's starting to look like a truck. I feel pretty confident. Um, I just got to do a little Dremel work on the on the U-joint on the steering. It's just a bit too tight. We're not going to do that tonight because it's late and uh, we could fire it up to make sure that it moves and stops, but we can push it, put it in gear, push the clutch in, we can move it. When we let go, we can't move it. So I think the clutch is working. I think the brakes are working. Throw the front clip on tomorrow. Everything under the hood should be pretty good. Then we get the coolant in. Ride coolant and then fire it up and run it for a bit. Run, yeah. yeah. On all eight <laughs> cylinders. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the neighbor, neighbors have been fantastic, but uh, we do want to be respectful to them. So a lot of grinder work this, this week. We want to live here for a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So we're called out a night. Okay, so these are the seat rails. I marked the holes, but I want it up as high as possible. So what I did was drill the holes up above. I'm just gonna weld the nut to the back side. You just gotta take a little bit of this curve out and that way we can just thread the bolts in without having to hold the nut in some awkward position. I'll drill the holes in the bottom, splash some paint on it, mark the holes, drill the holes from the top, bolt the seat rails down, and then we left it just a little bit bigger um, so we can put our seat belts in here as well as quick and efficient and safe as possible as we can do. So I drilled all the holes almost until it starts grabbing. Now I'm gonna wreck my nice new drill bit, but at least I've got most of the holes drilled. Um, so I got the nuts welded to the back. So now I'll put it in here, bolt the seats down so the distance is right, then mark the holes, drill them, take the seats back off again, bolt these down unless I can get at them. And then the seat mounting is done. There's lots and they're really good. Very cool. Because Brad's buttoning up the front end and he's helping the guys with the boat. Um, they're all swapping a boat. I'm gonna kind of help them once in a while too. So you have to check that out on Dirt Cinema's channel where they're LS swapping a jet boat and trying to get that done in a day, but we stole some parts off of their engines. So, um, sorry guys. In the meantime, I'm gonna start the wiring. Uh, I'm gonna mount the fuse panel right uh, by the clutch pedal up nice and high. So I got my grommets from Princess Auto, start running the wiring and then I'll loom it up after everything's kind of ran nicely. So. We are getting close. I'm gonna start planning out the wiring harness. 
Should be pretty straightforward. We just need lights, turn signals, and ignition, really. Um, the rest is uh, pretty straightforward. Painless makes it pretty easy, though. They write it on every wire, what each individual wire is for. So I'll start mapping it out in my brain, try to find a plan, and then uh, we can go from there. Here we go. Yeah, so uh, we took the sway bar down to fit the rad in. Now the sway bar is on the way to the rad. So we got to drop the rad. We got to drop the sway bar down a hair and bring it back. So figure we have two of these two plates. But if we stack yeah. them on one side and make new plates, then and the we... holes are off. But then Rich says, Go like that, and our holes are dead on. So we just got to cut that. <laughs> Um, and these were mess ups from Manuel, so we can throw those plates on and we're all set. So I just have to drill and tap new holes to bring the sway bar back about an inch and then our our links can go back a hair, there's nothing wrong with that. Nice. Alright, easy peasy. Awesome. So dropping the rad in, which we did like four days ago, three days three days ago, was supposed to be just straight, bolted in, no problem, and here we are, it'll take about an hour. <laughs> So we had to rework that so that way we have just a little bit of clearance here, a little bit up here, and the sway bar still holds in. So our radiator had a bigger outlet than on the thermostat housing. So I grabbed the hose that fit on the lower radiator and that is kind of loose on this pipe, but we needed a joiner. Now the pipe or the lower radiator hose that's from GM that fits tight on the thermostat, I can just squeeze over the other end. So it's a nice way to adapt it over. And then we're gonna put our steam line in there too. So I welded another, I cut another piece of the same shape, put it into here. Now I'll tap it and I'll put our steam vent on there and then two solutions fixed at one time. And these are just leftover header pieces from uh, Lyle's that just happen to be the right length. All right, it's got our low beam, our high beam, parking light, left front turns. That's crazy. That bulb has not been lit for 50 years. I bet it'll last longer than any bulb that we uh, <laughs> buy today. That's so one, get... that's the other. Okay, that's high. Yeah. That's low. Okay. What did I tell you if it did? No. Oh, that's the horn? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not sure if that's a... Yeah, it'd be 12 volt, wouldn't it? That's pretty loud. <laughs> wow. Who's horny over there? It, it hasn't been horny for 40 years. <laughs> So the, the switch was right here, which was in the way of this pedal, but the fender is right here. So if I put that switch underneath the fender, it would just get destroyed with water. So we'll put it inside the cab. And that's our high and low beam. Didn't get new light switches or key switches, so hopefully they work. <laughs> The bulbs worked. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, I imagine the switches worked. I need more work if it was a 95. Yeah. Yeah, we're tightening the accelerator cable to the firewall, and it's uh, pretty thin aluminum. It was kind of snapped off without very much effort. But we didn't have a tap the right size. Just kind of ground a metric bolt down and just force fed it into there so that now it threads in. So we'll throw some Loctite on and give her a shot. It's a, enough thread on there that instead of putting a nut on it and having it pull out, we can get another one on. Then this can go on the other side of the firewall and it'll work between these two 
so it's not a lot of pressure pulling on that. We'll see how it goes. We're good. Sweet. Yeah, man. Nice. Locked. Look at that. Nice. Okay, got a little bit more wiring to do, but I figure if it's gonna leak, then we'll watch it drip. But uh, there's no heater core right now, new radiator, only two hoses, should be fine. So we got Peak. Peak got us home in the Bronco, and the Bronco was a tough ride home. This, this is the opposite putting out a little bit more horsepower. So since Peak treated us so well with the Bronco, only makes sense to throw it in this ride about the same amount of miles before we're home. And Johnny says he just uses water and then sends it. But Johnny's from California where stuff doesn't freeze. And when we do that, we forget about it in November and we gotta crack blocks. Put the good stuff in right away. <laughs> this job is way better. And the sheet metal is not 140 degrees. I did this uh, about three hours ago and my face almost melted. That southern drip, you know what I'm saying? You look like you're turning about tan to this boat. That boat. This time. The beige, nice beige. Wait till you see my tan after tomorrow. After the lake. Oh yeah, we're going to the lake. Aaron, eh? As soon as things get heavy lifting, first guy to grab a camera. <laughs> that thing, <laughs> you hold you hold that thing for all day. That thing weighs like eight oh, pounds. You want okay. to lift this thing for ten minutes or that for twelve hours? You doing good? Yeah. Yeah. Are you taking all the weight? I don't know. <laughs> that was going on. I feel like you. Is this is this end really heavy? There you go. There she be. There's no rubbing. We gotta go forward a bit. We're gonna have to put a spacer in here, right? Eh? Don't just bolt that right tight. Oh, or else it'll bend down, kind of? Yeah, because it would have the wood. Oh, yeah, so each one of these would have the wood underneath, right? It's going down the low part, it needs to go up to the high part. Yeah. So this needs to come up, but these are holding it down. Oh, it's got to come up it's even just more. These, yeah. three, these three come off, <clears throat> and then gotcha. you just bolt it here and bolt it there, and then this is the part that bolts down in the frame. Okay. How do you want to do it? Stand it right up on him. Uh, oh, yeah, there's something to move on. <laughs> right. Bingo, bingo. Those are oh yeah, yeah, no, that's perfect. Oh shit. Oh, and this is, this we is even, straight in the this is even bent, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Did it move? <laughs> I'm not too worried. Yeah, I would still trim it. I, I'd still trim it, yeah. Just a hair. Yeah, that's cool. If we do that and then try to curl it over. Yeah, do you got, uh, steal that marker from you? We'll leave a little bit of that edge. You want to work on that with Andy? Sure. Yeah, all right. You guys got it. Difference uh, switching steel. I'm not that. No, okay. Oh, I'm good. You're good. I I really like my front isn't touching. 
but um, my back is way more. This, yeah, this one looks pretty square off. Um, yours is definitely tilted in. Yeah. That's why it is every day. We still got somewhere else. Running late first. Oh. And brake lights. <laughs> what is the difference? Wait a minute, go back. It's a lot brighter. Oh, yeah. See how bright that one is? Yep. And then that one's pretty oh, good. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. That's pretty sick. 45 <laughs> years, those lights haven't been on. Same bulb? Yeah! yeah. Didn't really? No, we didn't change anything. Yeah. Just... Nothing? No. no. Oh. 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 I must have a bad ground. There's no way. Nothing there? Neither one. No. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> There's a bulb in there. It's pretty, yeah. pretty uh, tight. Well, the filaments are good. Maybe it's got a bad connection in there. Dunkyard of a garage. No? No, what, what do we got? Like, are all my stuff here? Yep. Yeah. No. I got You only throw them for a loop and start using your skill saw. Did you made a four by eight like perfect? It's four feet wide, but 90 inches long. So we gotta cut just a little bit off. Oh okay. First I'm gonna use the uh I'm gonna use the back of the truck to measure it. And then we just, then we just need a hole for the fuel. Fuel. That's pretty sick. We can like put stuff in here. Pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Oh, nice. Then we can cross that off on the back. Yeah. I am fucking up some powers and some grounds, and yeah. I'm almost ready to. I don't. My headlight switch seems to be one that's not in the book, and the battery is labeled, and parking lights is labeled, but I'll just touch wires and see if we can get some lights to come on. But if you want to do the front, then uh, we should be able to fire it up soon. And have lights? What's that? And have lights? And have lights, yeah. Is that the truck labeled yet or no? No, um, but you get to knock it off. Woo! Yeah, that's a big one. It is. So the box bed. Yeah, box yeah. bed. I didn't want to piss off the Garner brothers. By calling it a box? I'm calling it a box, yeah. They are sensitive. Ooh, that meant a lot. Box of fingers. Yeah, it's better. Okay. But I'm thinking, why not just like a ratchet strap? Do you want, do you want, do you want some gloves too? Uh, Brad's hardcore. Ready? Ready? That did it. That's much better. Is it kind of straight or is it still curling? It's pretty straight. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's going in a tab. All right, one more. Oh, we weren't working together there at the end. It started out. It started out good. <laughs> Yeah, it's just Still got that sharp right edge. there, just that sharp edge. If we could fold that edge in. Okay. Ooh, we're getting down there. Install box slash bed. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, wired truck lights? Oh, yeah. Kind of hide it, tuck it away. Nobody sees it. Clamps. <laughs> Just zip tie it up to some stuff. Hope for the best. <laughs> Thank you.
saying, just to have a little bit of extra extendo there. Go, go, gadget arm. Uh, <laughs> but you can see out this thing. Yeah, it got pretty clean. Yeah. There's, there's uh, no lights coming onto the Holly system yet. No? Okay. That should light up, right? Probably yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll try another one. Tune got reset. You think so? Oh, I know why. Because when I turn my key, it does it cuts the power. It's not getting everything it needs. No. I bet you that's it. It's not seeing RPM. Mark. Okay. Oh. Plug the injector back in again. Let's do this. Okay. I heard that once. that alternator and then we'll do it again it's just the pulley's warm the alternator is hot see what, see what it's like unplugged try to keep it alive and move it everybody just back up though
Oh, oh. oh. You pig dope, that's what it's like, it's way too rich. Yeah, it's poor enough. Hey, you said your name. Yeah, that was a, <laughs> that was a shout out. It's way too yeah. rich. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Could be way too. It's still charging bad. with the exciter wire turned off. That's really odd. Yeah. Maybe you figured out Infinity free energy. energy. <laughs> Don't, I gotta tell Elon ASAP. <laughs> Your neighbors hate you. If I get kicked out. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You can come to Canada. Nah, it's absolutely not. Uh, when was the last time you were in Canada? Never been, never want to. Well, maybe. I need to build something in Canada now. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's uh, 10 to 2. We uh, are making way more noise than we're supposed to. Even the rooster can't keep up. So we're going to stop. <laughs> we're going to stop it here. It's successful. It moves, it stops, it turns. And it runs. So we got a few things to button up yet. Lots of little things yet. I got to put the fan for the the relay for the fan on yet, and uh, seat belt, and clean up a little bit of the wiring. And then uh, we're heading out. We got tomorrow to do that, and then Friday we're gonna head out. So tomorrow we'll do some driving up and down the road, hopefully, and then uh, um, go a little farther, and then head back to Costa Mesa. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you very much, guys, for letting us do all this. It was, it's a lot of work. Get off my lawn. Get off our, yeah, our lawn's messed up. Or look, just pan to that. Just see. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. You're fine. Everything's fine. It's all broke stuff. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, lots more coming up on this thing. Here we go. You're all filthy. You're not rich. There you go. Yeah. <laughs>